and we killed him by deleted. God is dead. People have been trying to figure out the meaning of those three words for decades. Most use it to justify their smug intellectual superiority. They think it's an exclamation of joy, of liberation from an omnipotent tyrant. But they forgot the full quote. God is dead and we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves, the murderers of all murderers? This isn't a celebratory cry. This is an admission of guilt. When the UN declared experimental cybernetics inhumane and illegal, the whole world breathed a sigh of relief. We thought the great debate was over. Sins definitely weren't people. Sins were abominations, and we destroyed every single last one of them. No more hyper wars, no more grandparents lost in failed uploads, no more people rendered killing machines by malfunctioning implants. Hell, even the Chinese stopped their program of mandatory visual censorship through chipping. They called it the biggest success for human rights, for the species as a whole, since we invented fire. Better yet, it was a success for the environment. To put it simply, we were running out of shit to make computers out of. Then wet tech came along. You see, what we hadn't realized is that it's very hard to bend the laws of physics. It's hard to make a computer sentient. It's hard to create zero grav. It's hard to have infinite production on a finite planet. What we did have an abundance of, though, was people. The laws of human biology, unlike physics, are completely malleable. And now it seems like there weren't any laws to begin with. Gone are the prosthetics. Now we just wait a couple weeks for a cloned arm. Dead bodies are harvested for reuse, and flesh is the new steel. Some jobs have a minimum limb limit way over four, and others require specialized senses. Worst are the hybrids. Spliced monstrosities usually bred for sex or the military. Unlike cybernetics, the possibilities that come with gene editing are truly and horrifically endless. The next step, they say, is creating biological superstructures. Beating hearts the size of mountains that power cities. Veins that stretch underneath the ocean for miles. Digestive tracts that process materials faster than factories ever could. And all of us connected into one big throbbing, pulsing mass. God is dead, and we killed him.